This one here. We filming? Yeah. yeah. All right, so bike seized at Marysville. Uh, what, we thought it was just the top end. Uh, it's not the top end. <laughs> it's uh, probably the bottom end again. And now I gotta finagle. Oh, the bike's gonna fall. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Well. Move the shock. Tilt the shock back. Yeah. Your carb is still just hanging or? Hanging out. Oil everywhere. Yeah, you mean everywhere. It's a relative term. Everywhere. What is it? Oh. Ah! One of I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of it. What is it caught on? Is there a, a wire still attached to it? Yeah. Uh, a clutch. It just slips out, right? Mm. Nope, a flywheel wire. But that just comes off, right? But the clutch is still on there too, right? I mean, I can see it. Oh, the clutch. How are we so dumb? You ever wonder? I'm not dumb. You're right. How am I so dumb? All right. This sucks. I'm not I hate dumb. everything. Let me, uh, let me prime the viewers. So I get home. <laughs> Neil and my dad were going to take a look at getting my cases back together with the new bottom end. And I'm told something bad happened, and now I need to see what. So what's broken? Oh. So as you can see, this second ring here. Nico, get out of here. God damn it, Dude, why are you so like this, dog? The second ring, uh, this line, that's actually not, uh, that's not supposed to be there. That's actually a giant crack in the case. Let me get some light on it. I don't think... JB Weld's well, gonna it fix this one. Well, it would have been fine, except for there's a... Um... You can't even see it in, in there. You can see it there. That's gonna be a Barely, it's problem. like right... See, it goes across this thing, mm -hmm. and this is a port that yeah. lubes your bearing. What happened? What is this? That's just like the transmission stuff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, after, after talking with Neil, I mean, there's... There's really no way we can know what happened. There's no way. No, you can't possibly know. There's what no way the hydraulic press. The, there's no <laughs> way we could know what happened. We can't know at this point. <laughs> it's a true mystery of the universe. What could have happened? What could have happened? What could have happened? A know, statistical you anomaly. You can try and JB weld it. Because this is the flywheel side. Yeah, there's not much force there. This is dry. Right? Mm hmm. So if you JB weld it, it might work. The problem is we have to get your bearing all the way. You can, like tap it. And the other problem is your. No way of knowing, huh? <laughs> I don't know if the bearing is gonna seat well. Well, you know. <laughs> so I've been told that there was a loud pop. No, it wasn't that loud. <laughs> there was a pop. <laughs> There's no way to know what could have happened to, the, to this. <laughs> It's only a 20 ton press, Jack. And there was just a pop! <laughs> oh boy. So Neil's, Neil's newest idea, which Whoa, I'm kind of down with, if we just fully press the bearing in and see if it gets worse. Look at the bearing. What? Right here, this bearing. So the risk is you waste $500 on your bottom end. Look at, look at that bearing. It is, it's black, it's, it's burnt. You take the bearing the other side. Dad, I know, it's fine. It's not burnt. 
Right, but again, that bearing came off on the crankshaft. It's supposed to come. Alright, so after two laps of riding, uh, I went to start it again and the kickstart is frozen. Tried to bump start it, back wheel's locked up. I don't know what that means, but I'm not happy about it. Uh, yeah, anyway, that was really terrible. <laughs>